The saviour is here. Guys, Ivan Ortega has done it. Hope that's how you say your name. The Last Jedi re-edit is done, minus an added fight scene, which is to be completed. And I've seen it three times. Now, before I continue, this is a partly scripted, partly not video, so bear with me. The first time, I made notes all throughout, and I'll explain them in a second. Before I do, I want to say, well done, it was fantastic. To be truthful, I was even excited when the very first trailer came out. Upon the first watch, I was, however, a little disappointed, and I'll explain why. But before I get any hate, that opinion has changed. I think I was just simply taking myself out of the moment every time I wrote some notes down. Upon the second and third watch, I truly came to appreciate how good it was. With that said, I still have a few issues, and I will mention small things, but before you say, yes, I know, they can't really be improved because he edited it, with the footage he already had. There was only so much he could do. So to begin with, I thought the first battle scene with the Resistance and First Order was so much better. It felt intense, you were in the moment, not being taken out of it by not so good humour. As well as this, you felt a little more connection to the characters. I think there was even an added character from some deleted scenes. Moving on from this, I didn't particularly like the first scene with Rey and Luke. For me, the added dialogue for Luke was very obvious to be added but that does improve so much better as the movie went on. I will get to that later. Uh, for me, the scene still felt rushed. I would have liked some more time. The Snoke and Kylo scene was great. Put together so well, giving Snoke enough screen time, but not too much for the ending to be, well, disappointing. Poe and Finn's relationship works so much better. It felt natural. Even Finn obsessing over finding Rey with the BB-8 scene made everything make a little more sense. Now, I didn't actually mind the scene whereby Leia used the Force. Yes, it looked a little goofy, but I liked seeing it. However, the edit smooths over it and it works better. That's something you will hear me saying a lot. It's no secret I like The Last Jedi, but many scenes, I will admit, work better in this re-edit. Admiral Akbar surviving and sacrificing himself is a better send-off. Obviously, I understand the audio and scenes used weren't going to be the same quality, and you can easily tell, although I think the part where he runs the ship into the First Order actually looked great, as if it actually happened in the movie. What I liked was that the comedy wasn't overused, and actually one part I really liked was the first lesson with Rey using the Force. I hate the joke where she reached out and feels the leaf, but with the added music and voiceover leading into the training scenes, it works so much better. One of my favourite parts was the training, and I would have loved it if there was if it was a little longer. Speaking of, the Cantobite scene was reduced massively. I liked it, but it felt very rushed. There was almost no point on being on that planet. You know, Finn could have met the Codebreaker in a cell on the Resistance ship and just skipped the entire thing altogether instead of rushing a section of the movie. I liked the heavier focus on Rey and Luke as well as the connections he was having with Leia. The scene that shows Luke looking into Ben Solo's mind is a good idea. I could tell it was gaming footage or whatever, but the idea was there. I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I don't believe it was mentioned that Rey was sold by her parents. I think Kylo just says she's a nobody, which still leaves it open, which is good. The Finn fight was quicker. You didn't need it to be any longer. It was just right, with BB-8 not coming in for the rescue. A few final points near the end. I liked that the whole Rose thing was cut out, but the whole I'm going to sacrifice myself only to be blown out of the way still felt anticlimactic. Luke's green saber is much, much better, and as someone who doesn't mind having Luke pass away, it's good to have him alive still. That's pretty much it. Overall, a really solid re-edit. All the main points complained about were, as promised, fixed. If I was to be nitpicky, some of the transitions or cutscenes were a, a little sudden. It didn't flow too well in the first half. Great use of music, though. Introducing Jaw of the Fates was, again, just, just fantastic. Just... The nostalgia. Uh, if Ivan had the budget and rights to reshoot scenes, so it wasn't just game footage or uh, deleted scenes that weren't great quality, then I don't think I would have had any issues with this edit at all. 
With that said, I am a fan of The Last Jedi, just as I am a fan of this. Thank you so much for all the time and effort you have put into this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.